Hey everybody, I hope you guys are ready for a massive, massive tour at all, because that is what you were in for today. And the reason I have such a massive tour at all is because I did some work with them. I took some images for their Instagram and for my own page. Just as an FYI, this haul, not sponsored. It's because I liked so many of the items I shot. Plus, I bought some stuff myself and I was sitting here with like swimsuits I loved and then some clothing that I really loved and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a haul because I think that you guys should know about it because it's actually legitimately good stuff. So I'm gonna walk you guys through what I got. I'll start with clothes, then go to suits, and then go to accessories and shoes. It's a lot, but it's gonna be magical and amazing. So the first thing I got, and I haven't even tried them yet because they're just, I've been waiting for this haul to film them, is this adorable pair of pineapple lounge pants. I realized when I was kind of like cleaning my apartment, getting things ready to donate, that I like, didn't have any summery lounge pants. I had a lot of sweatpants, I had a lot of like winter leggings, but I needed something that was just a perfect for this weather that we're having now. I love this color, it's pre pretty much like one of my favorite colors, and I love pineapple. So it was just a cute little pajama pant that I couldn't resist getting. So these are super comfortable, they're just like the ultimate lounge pants, and yeah, I don't really have much more to say about them than that. Ta da! Then I've been looking for some basic skirts to be able to just mix with my shirts. I've realized I've got a lot of pattern skirts, but basic like solid color skirts. I just don't have very many of them. So I got this skirt, it's really nice. It's got an elastic band here. So as you wear it, it's gonna stretch with you if you eat a deliciously large lunch. I also like it because it's got the pockets and it's a midi length. Now, I like wearing short things. I think I've said this before on this channel because short things are awesome. You feel sexy, you feel like a goddess. But sometimes you just wanna feel comfortable and you wanna make sure that you can like spend the whole day and not worry about like having to pull things down or if anything's showing. That that is where the midi skirt is my magical, magical solution. I like this one, it's got buttons down the front, but they are faux, so it's not like you're gonna have accidentally like pulling apart, which does happen to me a lot because I have my bigger thighs, it just likes to like rip the buttons apart. So this one is actually gonna stay close because it's all faux, the buttons aren't real. You can't like unbutton yourself out of the skirt. I mean, you could try, but it would be really wasted effort. I loved the burgundy color, I just love this color in general. It's a little bit of a muted red. Real red can be very harsh sometimes, so this is a little bit more neutral. It's 100% rayon, and I think it's just, I think it's super cute. So I really wish I had the time to iron this. I just, I simply don't have the time. I'm trying to get a lot done because I just absolutely love the movement and feel of this skirt. It's so comfortable, it's so lightweight. It's like perfect, perfect, perfect for summer. And it has pockets. This dress I have already worn and it is the infamous dress that I danced on stage with Lizzo in. It is so comfortable. I absolutely love it. It's got these adjustable straps at the front, at the back so you can make the length of this strap whatever works for your body best, which is like one of the things I love about Torrid's dresses because that is adjustable. It's got a smocked back and it is a little bit on the shorter side. So I wore this when I was at the concert with leggings underneath just because I knew I was gonna dance it out, but it's perfect for the summer to kind of bop around. It does also have pockets, which is also awesome. And it's got a little bit of neon, but not too much. So if you're trying to get on the neon trend, but you're a little bit nervous about like looking like a highlighter. Personally, that's my aesthetic. If I could look like a highlighter every day, I would. Um, this is a great kind of middle ground of like bringing in that neon trend, also bringing in a little of that animal print trend in a fun and different way without going, you know, too, too bold in the color scheme. So it's changing so quickly that I left the black shirt underneath it and I like really like it. It's like a look and I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, feeling it. I'm feeling myself. Feeling my, feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to show you is actually two pieces. I bought them to go together, so I'm going to show you them together. I'm obsessed with this stripe, this pastel stripe. I know we're past Easter, but it just reminds me of like the best Easter basket ever, but on my body. We've got again that elastic waist with a full zip in the back so you can get in in a classy way versus the overhead way that I usually take. And then it's got that nice, you know, straight stripe here across the top and those vertical stripes with a little bit of ruffles down at the bottom and a little bit of kind of like a 
peak at the bottom. It is again a midi skirt, so it is gonna cover all the way down, and it does have a high low. So you're gonna see here that the back is a little bit longer than the front. I personally look for that in skirts because I got that booty, 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 rung up everywhere. Well. So the skirt is gonna have a little extra fabric back there to like keep uh, the, the twin peaches in check. What I got to go with it is the shirt, which is actually jersey, so it's super comfortable, but I just thought, how fun would it be to have the same print on a shirt tucked in in this dress looking ensemble? This is a really nice super soft knit. It's something I haven't seen from them before, these super, super soft knits, or at least on the tag. This is actually made of, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what it's made out of, or maybe I'm just blind. Yeah, I don't know what it's made out of. Let me look at the top. Oh, it's made of rayon and spandex. It was just an unusual place. I love the neckline because this is a very flattering neckline for me. If you have a bigger bottom, uh, kind of an open shoulder neckline is going to create the illusion of an hourglass. And that is one of the reasons this neckline is so quote unquote flattering, but it's really proportionizing. Proportionizing. So I thought these two together would be just like the cutest little look. So I'm excited to try that on for you guys. Sometimes you get an idea about how things should work together and then it just doesn't come to fruition. Because these are on two different styles of fabric, they just don't look right together. The print is definitely more vibrant in the polyester skirt than it is in the like knit top. So it's kind of just a bust, but I think separately they'll be really, really cute just together. It does not work at all. And there's no pockets. Now we're gonna jump into swim and this is the thing that I got the majority of the items gifted for though one of the suits I did by myself and part of the reason I went and bought another suit after even having all of these other suits is because I love the fit so much and then I saw this print and I just couldn't resist because in the summer I try to just basically live in swimsuits it's what I like I like to be in the Sun I like to be in the water I like to be anywhere that there's a beach or a pool or someplace that I can just like swim around so uh, we're gonna get into the swim. But before we get into the swim, I'm gonna show you this cover-up. This cover-up is epic. It is this purple, lavenderish floral print. Boom, how sassy is that? It's sheer, but it does provide enough coverage. It looks fantastic on, and it dries in like five minutes. I don't think I've ever seen anything else that I've owned from a cover-up perspective dry as quickly as this thing does. And it looks so rich and so fantastic. It does have little side slits here down the side, so you're gonna get a lot of movement around the bottom area, and it just fits amazing. It comes to tie closure, and you can cinch it as tight as you want, so it's gonna fit a variety of different waist sizes, and it is one of those items that's sized in between. You can get a three, four, versus getting a three or a four. Um, I typically wear a three in almost everything toward. This dress that I have on right now is a three, so this actually worked really well for me, and I liked that it was a little bit oversized because it was a three, for because it gave me that like more glamorous lady at the beach look now we're gonna get into all of the actual swimsuits so the first suit I'm gonna show you guys is actually like a rash guard swimsuit it's black it's got a half zip actually no a full zip all the way down it's got a full zip all the way down to just above the crotch and this thing is so comfortable in fact I plan to wear this as a bodysuit out on a night where I want to look good because everybody just looks good in this. I put this on, my friend, um, my friend Amber put this on. In fact, one of the things we found with most of the suits, she's a size three in Apple and I'm a size three in Pear. And we were trying the suits on and we ended up like sharing the swimsuits because she got so into them and I was like, fine, I'll be nice and let you wear them. So we'd wear them and wash them and then like switch them around. So like, if you follow Amber, you'll see her in a bunch of the suits as well. But this black suit is bananas and I used to do a lot more surfing, wakeboarding and stuff like that. I just haven't been somewhere to do that or even scuba diving. Anywhere where you need that like rash guard protection, this is awesome and it's very comfortable, nice stretch to it. And I will say if you're planning on doing those activities, uh, oftentimes they don't have plus options available. So if you're going on a cruise or you're going somewhere like to a surf retreat, which is where I first surfed, I would recommend getting a rash guard before you go. Otherwise you'll have this awkward situation where you have a crop top rash guard on that doesn't really stay down. It's not fun. <laughs> speaking from personal experience so I'm really glad that I have this so now that when I do that hopefully later in the summer I will be all set with my rash guard 
So of the suits I've worn thus far, this might be my favorite. It's this black and white striped suit. It sits in a high waist as a lot of suits do. And then the top, and I just don't know what it is about the top because I have other tops in this cut from them, but for some reason it's just super, super flattering on my body. It fits and feels comfortable. I don't have any riding up. And I also like that the straps can come off, they can crisscross in the back, they can tie around your neck, or they can go over the shoulder. So if you're playing that magical game where you don't want tan lines, you can literally like game the system with this suit, which is why I really, really liked it. The other suit that I was like completely and totally in love with I'm gonna show you right now it's this red suit and I don't know why I've never seen Tori do a lower cut bottom I think I think this is the first time they've done a lower cut bottom this bottom looks fantastic on my butt like it just fits so well it stays up in fact I filmed a little TikTok where I am running in this suit. It doesn't fall down. I've never had that with a lower cut suit. I'm usually like, okay, it's cute. I'm gonna get a better tan and I'm gonna have to yank it up the whole time. This one, I think it's something about the thick elastic here at the top. It stays up. It also has these cute little mesh details at the side. They're a little revealing, but not too much. Keeping it classy, but also sultry and seductive. The top is super fun. It's really great if you want just like a comfortable day by the pool because it doesn't have any underwire in it. It's just a standard like halter top, no underwire, does have the molded cups. And then what I also like about this is you have that option again with the straps to kind of play around with them. You can have them crisscrossed in the back, which is what I did. And I felt like it was most supportive for me with a smaller bust. And again, totally adjustable. So this was probably, it's funny because my actual favorite, if I had to like pick my favorite combo is this bottom with this top like together they're just this magical french adorableness that i can't even get over but to be honest i've worn every single suit that you're gonna see and i like them all <laughs> The next suit is probably the most fun suit of the suits. It is this fruit salad suit. And as soon as I opened it up, I was like, fruit salad, mm -mm -mm. yummy, yummy. Fruit salad, if you did not know that, I did a dance to that on the TikTok, it is awesome. Why I love this suit specifically is this is for when I want to look sultry. It's definitely got a lot more padding and what I like is it comes in different bust sizes. So there's small, medium, and large bust. This is again something new that I'm seeing Tora do that they have not done previously. So I was able to get a smaller busted suit that has push up so my boobs actually look fantastic in this suit versus feeling like there's like space or air above the bra top. It felt awesome to wear a suit that actually fit my bust line. Again, the same story with the straps. You can crisscross them, you can fill them in however you want. The adjustableness is right here at the top of the suit as it be. And then this has like a little bit of a lower lay balconette on it. So it hits, you know, a little bit below the bust. The bottoms are just the same print. You do have a little mesh detailing like we saw in the red here, and I'm not sure if you can see it that clearly on my hand, but it adds a little sexiness to it. Not super noticeable, not super see-through. It's just something to note that there is like a little bit of mesh detailing here on the side. This suit was Amber's favorite suit. In fact, she almost stole it out of my suitcase, and I had to be like, girl, stop. It is a lovely coral and green um, ruched bottom, high waist, and, and the top is again wireless. So I have two suits with wires, two suits without. Has the same little kind of crisscross detail at the top that we saw on the previous suit. Again, all the same things, adjustable. You can change the neckline on it. This one's really nice because I feel like it offers a little bit more coverage. That's perhaps why it's not my absolute favorite, though I still love it. And again, awesome for mixing and matching with what I already have. Uh, I think it's just like, it's more like when I'm sunburned, I'm going to wear this suit because it's going to cover my stomach line here which is where I often burn because I sometimes forget suntan lotion there I'm trying to get better about it I'm trying to be better about the suntan not have like no burns so then after having all of these suits that were gifted to me to do some shoots for Torrid I saw another suit online that I had to get and part of the reason I had to get it is I'm going to France um, I'm really excited I'm speaking at con advertising which is con lions and it's kind of a big deal and I'm gonna stay in the French Riviera for a little bit after. And so I've basically given myself a theme. I know that sounds so lame, but I'm like thematically dressing like the French Riviera. And I just saw the suit and I was like, do I need it? No, 
Do I want it? Yes. So I bought it. <laughs> this is the suit. It's oranges, AKA my favorite color, on like a blue gingham. I'm just gonna hold it up so you can see. Oh, so cute. It's that high-waisted high -waisted ruched bottom that I already love. And then the top is very similar to the red one, except it's got this adorable little ruffle on it. And I just saw this and I was like, Anna, you don't need this. But I convinced myself, no, I did need it. I did, I need you on my body. And I couldn't resist the idea of me with like a big floppy hat, sitting on a beach in France, looking, looking the fanciest I've ever looked, and just living my best life in this suit. And so I did it, I did it. You know why? Because, because I can't. <laughs> so I have absolutely no regrets in purchasing this suit. I think it is super, super adorable, like, exceeds all expectations. I love this top. It's so comfortable. It's just like the red top, which fit me like amazing. And it's just sexy and cute and flirty and perfect for when I go to France. <laughs> In addition to this swim and clothing that they sent me, they also sent me some shoes and accessories that were supposed to go along with the suits, you know, if they worked out. Uh, it's funny, I didn't end up shooting a lot of them with the looks. I did use some accessories, but uh, I did fall in love with some of the shoes. I also have some shoes that I purchased uh, that I love from Torrid. So I'm gonna show you my favorites now. <laughs> my first favorite is this rust pair of mini heels. They are so comfortable. I bought these on my own. They were not gifted to me. I have worn them many, many times. I like them because I can wear them for a long amount of time. They don't kill my foot and they're just super comfortable. And that's one thing I like about Torrid shoes in general is they are comfortable. I've got big feet and sometimes I've got problematic feet just from having plantar fasciitis and this, these just fit amazing. I actually wore them a couple times on Instagram already, but they kind of go in my suitcase everywhere because when I need to look fancy and I don't want to do a high, high heel in the summer, actually I never want to do a high heel, but sometimes you just gotta, these are like my go-to. They're a little bit dressy, but not too much. Uh, these shoes I've also worn a bajillion times and mostly because hello sparkle These are all little crystals. These are mad comfortable. I literally wore them every single day I was in Miami. You'll see them on tons of my Instagram photos These are the best like one of my favorite pair of sandals. I've ever had so 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 incredibly comfortable Obsessed love would recommend highly the theme of all of these shoes is they're so comfortable. Like that's why I like Torrid shoes. That's why I buy them on my own a lot. So these are little platform cork wedges. Also a dream. The cork even adds a little extra support. So I would say these are even more supportive than the orange ones. And that's mostly because you have this cork bottom which adds a little bit of like, um, what do you call it? When you're hitting something, stability. Adds just a little bit more stability and cushion. And they have like, you can just see the fatty cushion on that. You see how thick that cushion is? Girl, your feet gonna be in heaven. And I like them also because we talk about this all the time. I don't like having to unbuckle stuff. So the zipper in the back is actually like a godsend for me. It's just so much easier. It's so much easier than having to like fidget and put on shoes. <sighs> it's 2019, putting on shoes should be simple. The last pair of shoes that I love are these white little like slides these are perfect for the pool they're very very comfortable again like theme blah but i like that they're woven i like this it's a classic shoe that you can always wear and i like that they're leather so they like mold to your feet so they feel i feel like are they really leather i don't even know oh it's man-made so they're not leather but they feel like it and they mold to your feet. So whatever that's made of, oh, I just figured out why they mold to your feet. There's a little bit of elastic here that stretches and moves with your foot. So that is why they feel so fantastic. The more you know, kids, the more you know. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about accessories. I'm cleaning one of them off right now. And the two I'm gonna show you, I feel like are now staples in my wardrobe. I wear them all the time and they're amazing. So the first is this white pair of sunglasses, which just look so cool. I wore them almost every day in Miami as well. Um, and they're just, they're great. They're fantastic. I love a white sunglass. I had, had a cheap pair of white sunglasses that fell apart. Um, these are amazing. And I like that they have like a rose gold frame and the white inset in it. It's They're just beautiful. But the real, the ones that I think are like over the top amazing just because they're so fashion are these octagons I, I am living for. Like how 
vintage cool do I look with this? Uh, Amber tried to steal these from me too, and I was like, no, these are mine. Off. Get away, Amber, you can't have them. But they're amazing, and they kind of go gradient from like a gray blue all the way to a purple. Fantastical. So these I'm showing, they're an accessory and they're bracelets. And this is because I have a really hard time buying, uh, what do you call them, bangle bracelets. Because my, not that my arms are wide, it's just like my hands. I have, I have very large hands. I'm a large woman with large appendages. So I've always had a really hard time getting bracelets on that fit. And these actually fit over my hands. So if you are another person who struggles with large hand syndrome, these babies are going to fit on your hand. And I was shocked because a lot of times, even when I buy plus bangles, the girls don't go on my wrist. They just like, <clears throat> and they sit and they hurt and it's not cool and it's not fair and it's, it's mean. So that's pretty much it for my tour haul. Uh, again, some of this was gifted to me, but links to everything are down below in the description box along with what size I am trying on in the haul. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you have not clicked subscribe, I would deeply appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll check you later and peace.